evaluate the given log expressions without using a calculator. To do this, to do this we'll form equations by setting the log expressions equal to x. Then we'll write the log equations as the exponential equations in order to determine the value of x. So for the first expression, we'll have log base 5 of 0 0.008 equals x. Again, if we can determine the value of x, we can determine the value of the log expression. Our next step is to write the log equation as an exponential equation using the definition of a logarithm given here. So for a quick review, this log equation and this exponential equation are equivalent where b is the base, a is the exponent, and n is the number. So we're writing the log equation as an exponential equation. The base is 5. A logarithm is an exponent, so we have 5 raised to the power of x equals the number 0 0.008. Another way to form the equation would be to start with the base in the log equation and work around the equal sign. 5 raised to the power of x equals 0 0.008. Now we want to write both sides of the equation with the same base. So because 5 is prime, let's try to write the right side with base 5. This decimal is 8 thousandths. Let's write the decimal as a fraction. So we'd have 5 raised to the power of x equals 8 thousandths. And now let's simplify the fraction. 8 and 1,000 share a common factor of 8. So let's write this as 5 to the x equals, let's write 8 as 8 times 1, and 1,000 as 8 times 125. So we can see the greatest common factor. 8 over 8 simplifies to 1. So now we have 5 raised to the power of x equals 1 over 125. Let's look at the prime factorization of 125. 125 is equal to 5 times 25. 25 equals 5 times 5. So 125 is equal to 5 to the third. So now we have 5 to the x equals 1 over 5 to the third. So if we move 5 to the third up to the numerator, it'll change the sign of the exponent, and we'd have 5 to the x equals 5 raised to the power of negative 3. And now because these are equal and the bases are the same, the exponents must be equal, and now we know x equals negative 3. So if x equals negative 3, our log expression is equal to negative 3. So this is equal to negative 3. For our homework system, do not include the equal sign. Next we have log base 10 of 0 0.001. So we'll set the expression equal to x. By determining the value of x, we can determine the value of the log expression. So let's write the log equation as an exponential equation, which would be 10 raised to the power of x equals 0 0.001. Again, 10 raised to the power of x equals 0 0.001. And now I'll write both sides of the equation with the same base. Notice how the decimal is 1 thousandth. Let's write that as a fraction. So 10 to the x equals 1 thousandth. 1 thousand is 10 to the third. So we can write this as 10 to the x equals 1 over 10 to the third. 1 over 10 to the third is the same as 10 raised to the power of negative 3. So we have 10 to the x equals 10 to the power of negative 3. These are equal, the bases are the same, and therefore the exponents must be equal, so x equals negative 3. Again, do not enter the equal sign in the online homework. Next we have log base 625 equals the square root of 5. So we'll form a log equation. Log base 625 of square root 5 equals x. Now I'll write the log equation as an exponential equation, which would be 625 raised to the power of x equals the square root of 5. But let's write this using a rational exponent, because the exponent on 5 is 1, and the index for the square root is 2. We can write this as 5 raised to the power of 1 half. So because 5 is prime, let's work on writing the left side as base 5. Well, 625 is equal to 25 times 25. Of course, 25 is equal to 5 times 5. 
So the prime factorization of 625 is 5 to the 4th. So we can write the left side as 5 to the 4th raised to the power of x equals 5 to the 1 half. Now applying the power to power property of exponents, here we multiply the exponents. So we have 5 raised to the power of 4 times x, which is just 4x, equals 5 raised to the power of 1 half. Because these are equal and the bases are the same, the exponents must be equal, and therefore 4x must equal 1 half. So to solve for x here, instead of dividing by 4, let's multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 4, which would be 1 fourth. So multiply the left side by 1 fourth and the right side by 1 fourth. Simplifying, we just get x equals 1 eighth. So here the log expression is equal to 1 eighth meaning 625 to the 1 8th power is equal to the square root of 5. For our last example, our equation would be log base 4 of 32 equals x. Again, by determining the value of x, we can determine the value of the expression. Now we'll write the log equation as an exponential equation, which should be the base of 4 raised to the power of x equals 32. Again, 4 raised to the power of x equals 32. Now we want to write both sides of the equation with the same base. Because we cannot write 32 with a base of 4, let's write 4 as 2 squared. So we have 2 squared raised to the power of x equals, let's see if we can write 32 with base 2. 32 is 2 to the fifth, but if we don't know that, we can always find the prime factors of 32. 32 is equal to 16 times 2, 2 is prime, 16 equals 4 times 4, and 4 equals 2 times 2. So notice that 32 is 2 to the fifth. Because we have powers to powers on the left, we multiply the exponents. So the left side is 2 raised to the power of 2 times x, which is 2x, equals 2 to the fifth. These expressions are equal, the bases are the same, and therefore the exponents must be equal, and therefore 2x equals 5. Dividing both sides by 2, we have x equals 5 halves. So log base 4 of 32 equals 5 halves. Just remember, do not enter the equal signs into the answer cell. I hope you found this helpful.